Volcanic gas has forced renewed evacuations in Iceland. Over fears of volcanic eruption in the coming days, the town of Grindavik's 3,000 residents are in limbo, unsure if they'll ever be able to return or if there'll be anything left to go back to. Fox Weather's Nicole Valdez joins me now with more. Nicole. Hey, Jane. Yeah, that volcanic eruption is still imminent, but of course, really, the efforts from police and rescue crews to try to allow people to go back into the town that's been evacuated now for four days to grab anything they left behind, essentials, even pets, now really uh, came to a screeching halt as the uh, meters in that area detected increased levels of sulfur dioxide. That's, of course, really an indication that this eruption could very well be on the horizon. What you're looking at now is Grindavik. I mean, right now it looks like a ghost town. We have seen some of the efforts of those officials trying to allow people back in, but we're talking about 700 earthquakes just since midnight Tuesday. That is an alarming number, and we continue to see those coming in. Now the race is on to not only make sure that they have everyone that was trying to get back in uh, evacuated once more, but now to protect critical infrastructure that also sits within the town land. Limits. Officials working to build a shield surrounding a geothermal power plant to protect it from the potential lava flows. But take a look at what the small fishing town of Grandovic looks like right now. This is some of the roads that we've now seen split in half, even sinkholes opening across town. And that one crack in particular, you're noticing the steam coming out of it as that magma sits very close to the surface all of this, the damage that's already been set in and the impending to come, really a difficult reality for the thousands of families who have been forced to evacuate their homes. Hans Vera is one of them. He tells us he took his family and left Grandvik over the weekend, rattled by the number of strong earthquakes. He says they have felt nearly every minute for the last several days. They drove up towards Iceland's capital, Reykjavik, say they've lived through several earthquakes, but nothing truly compares to this. Well, we stopped planning Friday night. Um, there's no certainty about whether we will be able to get back to our home or not. It just depends on where the probable eruption is going to happen. If it's, if it's coming up in the middle of town, which is a possibility, then there's a great chance that all, all of Grintovic, all of town, all of the village is, is going under. And local officials as well as administrators are now working to find housing options for the nearly 4,000 evacuees who have been displaced for four days now. Meanwhile, scientists continue to warn this eruption is imminent. Of course, we know this is not going to be an explosive eruption like what we did see back in 2010. Really, officials have done everything they can at this point, Jane. They've evacuated the town. They've helped in the rescue of animals and pets who also call this area home. Uh, so unfortunately for the southwestern peninsula, of Iceland. At this point, it truly is just bracing for impact and making decisions minute by minute. Yeah, and in a waiting game over there. I mean, the whole world is waiting to see what happens as well. Nicole, with the updates, Nicole Valdez, definitely a story we're going to continue to follow. We'll check back in. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.